Morality Clinical Syndrome, I had no clue what it meant. All I was told by my doctors was that my kidneys that had stopped functioning would recover in a week. Thankfully, I believed him because if I had known at that time, 15 years back, that the atypical HUS would take away from me my functioning kidneys forever and completely, I would have been destroyed. I was put on dialysis immediately and uh, I was on dialysis for about a year and a half. At that point, I had a transplant. My mother donated her kidney. For us, a transplant was the ultimate thing. Freedom from this dreaded thing called dialysis. I was also willing to give a kidney if my son could get back his life. We were all so excited as the transplant date neared. It would be liberation at last. Eleven days after the transplant, my creatinine started to rise. HUS recurred and destroyed my mother's transplanted kidney. I had to be put back on dialysis. I soon switched to PD, which in my opinion, offered a much better quality of life. I had just completed a PD exchange and was in my room when the waters of the sea gushed in. It was a tsunami. We barely managed to escape alive, but in the process, my PD catheter probably hung on to some deadly bacteria and this gave uh, rise to a series of exit site, tunnel and peritoneal cavity infections. I had to eventually give up PD and then switch to home hemodialysis. I am currently on daily nocturnal home hemodialysis. I have a genetic mutation called the CFH-CFHR1 hybrid gene. This gene results in an 80% chance of recurrence of HUS after the transplant. This was the reason my first transplant failed as well. There is a new drug called Ecubizumab manufactured by Alexion Pharmaceuticals as Solaris. This drug has shown a very promising results when it comes to prevention of recurrence of HUS after a renal transplant. I must wait until I get access to this drug and then undergo a transplant. The drug, however, is not available in my country, India. As far as dialysis in India is concerned, I had been there, done that. I saw a lot of things needed to be changed. But what could I do alone? I was only a patient after all. In March 2008, along with Vikram and Sandeep, both MBAs, I co-founded a chain of dialysis centers called Nephro Plus. The three of us together are passionate about dialysis. We genuinely want to change the way dialysis is done in India. We are also forming a patient support group where patients will advocate for better support from the government for dialysis and transplant patients. I still hope for the day when I will have access to Eculizumab and get a successful transplant. But until then, I am enjoying my life one minute at a time. <laughs>